Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly Sidereal Astrology Forecast. This is for August 22nd through the 28th of 2016. I'm Athen, and this is for Sidereal Astrology. If you are new to the channel, be sure to check out the link down below because the signs are different. All right, so Sagittarius this week, very important week in the astrology. As you can see here, we've got a grand cross uh, forming in the sky involving the moon. So the moon is in the third quarter phase this week, which is a week of challenging ourselves. And this is both personally in our lives, uh, also what I call spiritually, and even in regards to some insights that maybe you had last week, which was the full moon, uh, right on the cusp between your second and your third house. So maybe some insights about your finances, maybe about your sense of self-worth, maybe some things came to the forefront or cultivated about that area. And then also about how your mind works and the importance of communication, which is the third house. Maybe some things uh, cultivated with uh, reading, writing, sharing, uh, that kind of a thing. So whatever those insights were, it's great to uh, challenge yourself with that and implement those things this week. Now this week is especially important because Mars is going to be conjoining up to Saturn here in your 12th house putting what has already been an emphasis on your spiritual uh, development for about the past uh, year off and on Saturn has been transitioning into your 12th house so 12th house is the house of spirituality as I like to call it but it's also the house of our deep psychology of past things in terms of like you know traumas and healing and uh, loss and things that we're having to work with and having to really accept in our lives however it might be coming to the forefront because as you can imagine you know the psyche and our spiritual selves it runs very deep uh, but at the end as a result of all of this what could be hard work here of getting to know yourself spiritually so to speak of uh, maybe uh, putting in the work to do things like meditation or self-awareness or yoga or any other spiritual types of activities has been really excellent at least that's a good way of working with Saturn because Saturn is about really doing the work and here it could be the spiritual work or the psychological work uh, that could be helping you find that peace and tranquility which is really the result of the twelfth house you know it's the last house of the zodiac it's where we finally come back into acceptance and peace so with that hard work that you can be putting into this area Mars has recently shifted into here over the past two or three weeks which has perhaps been motivating you to do this or maybe the way you're getting things done or going about things has been more behind the scenes or in a more receptive way or you're starting to see the importance of having that uh, alone time or rest and relaxation so whatever that is that more immediate drive and that immediate action uh, going over Saturn makes it quite uh, you know limited it can feel limited anyways but that's exactly what we want to do we want to limit ourselves you know that's where uh, the patience of Saturn comes in the discipline of Saturn comes in again all regarding where you can have more peace and tranquility uh, in your life so that's an excellent way of working with this week maybe working behind the scenes getting that alone time and finding that flow because Mars is about getting things done it's just requiring a bit more of that bigger picture and long-term sense versus the more immediate gratification and in the 12th house it's about you know what I like to think of as the spiritual warrior you know we can get things done we can take action we can move things forward but in a way of presence in a way of acceptance and really finding that current of life so it's great to uh, you know learn about that treat this as a um, learning week and a developmental week regarding that spiritual side of the chart now you guys have been talked uh, hearing me talk about Saturn squaring up to Neptune so this has been going on uh, this year which has been perhaps that uncertainty or confusion about what we're building and a lot of this may have been in regards to that uh, communication or the mind of the things more in the immediate environment which has been Neptune in the third helping you uh, detach and surrender perhaps some of that uh, mental energy or um, things in your everyday experiences so with Mars now going over Saturn you would imagine Mars is going to be squaring up to Neptune and so with this especially emphasizing that willingness to detach and accept and live in that present moment and uh, that's a great way of working with it. it may not be easy collectively but if we challenge ourselves then we're in alignment with the square we're in alignment with this energy 
and that's a great way of working with this week to really challenge ourselves spiritually. Again, if it's through meditation, uh, yoga, anything that puts us into a meditative state, understanding more about ourselves, and again, being patient in the process. All right, so those are two very important aspects, but we do also have some lighter things or easier things taking place collectively uh, this week. One is that right at the beginning of the week, Mercury is going to go over your ruler Jupiter. So you guys could be feeling perhaps a bit communicative or you're thinking and, and there's maybe some stimulating things uh, regarding your career and maybe even quite literally some new things involving your career or your productive life. And this has been seen by Jupiter who's recently shifted into that 10th over these past couple weeks. So for the next year plus, there should be plenty of opportunities uh, for you guys to uh, go out and see you know, some potentials with the career, maybe some new career opportunities. And with Mercury, especially being your seventh house ruler, maybe some relationships shaping up uh, over this past roughly uh, month or so with Mercury in that uh, tenth house of yours. But right at the beginning, maybe something new, inspiring with the career and maybe with relationships there with Mercury. Then uh, at the end of the week, Venus conjoins up to Jupiter. So Venus is going into the 10th house. You can enjoy the work. You can enjoy perhaps a bit of that productive life. And again, Venus is also relations, relationships, emphasizing perhaps some of those uh, career-driven networks, relationships, uh, etc. So very nice there. And again, over the weekend, you can be enjoying some of that career stuff, maybe the work, maybe the routine. Venus does rule your uh, sixth house, maybe some uh, some friends, maybe some of you might be in contact with some networks, uh, but very nice there to enjoy the productive side of things or just the future side of things and not necessarily just for career like for profit, basically anything that you consider uh, your legacy or something you want to leave behind in this life. So that's uh, the lighter side of it, Jupiter, definitely opportunities there for the next uh, year plus with the productive public side of the charts. Things are still somewhat focused about uh, expanding your horizons, which is still great. You've got the sun in the ninth house, uh, the north node still in the ninth house and will be for about the next year. So it's still great to be focused on how you can uh, expand your horizons, whether it's uh, mentally, such as through higher learning, philosophy, spirituality, uh, or maybe even possibly through travel and adventure on that sense. So very good there with the uh, north node and sun, definitely that shift into the 10th of career. And again, a great way to uh, challenge yourself this week is with your spiritual development and um, you know again that psychological exploration and really getting in contact with the true essence of life. All right so Sagittarius hope you guys have an excellent week thank you for watching and I'll see you all next week.